Hello. So I just wanted to share this with you too. I kind of stuck around on this level two charger here uh, just while it was charging um, because as you'll have noticed from other videos, it, it charges up to five or six kilowatts um, and then slowly, slowly tapers down. So even when it says it's full, it's still accepting charge. Now, uh, this is telling me something because uh, the the Chevy Volt works in a similar way to the Chevy Bolt EV, I think, where uh, at least the first generation Volt, you could do what people referred to as topping off the battery. So there was a little bit of the buffer where it would actually charge past 100%. So it looks like the Bolt EV does that as well. So, and I never got this down right, but um, some of the Volt owners might be able to chime in on this but there's a, a certain point at which if you stop charging you'll have maximized your charge now what you'll notice here is this went from having that six kilowatt input to now it's it's running all of the systems having that 0.5 kilowatt output and so that that sweet spot for absolute maximum power that you can get into the battery uh, you you can't you can actually top off but you're basically waiting for the the charge input to drop to about one kilowatt and then just go ahead and shut off your charge at that point um, and that should give you the the max charge so right now it's it's actually discharging so just just to see maybe a quick experiment i'm going to turn it off and then i'm going to uh turn it back on again and see if now it, it initiates the charge. Um, and, uh, sorry. So, yeah, so now, to, now notice it's back up to running two, three, four um, kilowatts, five kilowatts input into the battery. Now this could just be battery leveling, it could be a number of things, but, um, but yeah, so what you'll want to do and see, it's it's dropping much more rapidly now. My my guess is it's only going to be a couple of seconds um, or a few seconds before it starts tapering down again. So right now, that means that this battery is basically at the maximum the Bolt EV is going to let you fill it. And, uh, and so this isn't really important, right? But for hypermilers or whatever, they're going to you know, they're going to want to maximize the amount of energy in the battery. And this is something to watch for when you're doing it. So if, if you're going to try and go for the hypermiling championship, uh, yeah, uh, this will probably some, be something you'll pay attention to. But otherwise, with the Bolt EV, there's so much range to spare and you're never really going to run uh, so low anyway without recharging that this won't matter much but I just thought it was sort of an interesting thing to to note now now we're back to zero and we've crossed the threshold and it's starting to to just run power without accepting more so yeah I just thought that was an interesting behavior and I I wanted to share so I'm interested if uh if you're a first generation volt owner maybe second generation volt owner as well Maybe you can chime in on some of you, you know, with some information about this, but it looks like the Bolt EV is acting similarly, but it's actually providing um, information on the display to, to let you see what's going on. All right, guys. Thanks.